click on start icon then in the search bar type task manager click here to open it on this window click on file then select run new task on this window click on browse button now we need to select this PC then open C drive now just scroll down and open Windows folder from here we need to open this folder then just scroll down and search for cmt.exe select this and click on open after that simply check this box and click on ok it will open command prompt window so we already have a list of commands to make it easy for you and to avoid mistakes simply open google chrome then type here google.com and hit enter now in the search bar type house.tech windows commands and click here to open it now click on this link which is from www.house.tech on this window just scroll down and search for command number 12 so copy this command simply click on this right click and select copy now go back to command prompt window and right click on command prompt to paste and hit enter to execute it after that copy command number 13 go back to command prompt window right click on black area and simply paste that and hit enter to execute it once done close this command prompt window click on search icon and in the search bar type file explorer and click here to open it then open C drive now open windows folder scroll down and open software distribution folder then open download folder now select all these files and simply delete them select as click on continue once done close the file explorer again go to search bar and type troubleshoot settings then click here to open it click on other troubleshooters and simply run windows updates it will try to detect the problems and resolve it so close this then go to search bar and type windows update settings and click here now we need to update our windows then click here to download and install the latest version this will take some time so open command prompt window run as ad administrator select as after that type sfc space slash scan now and hit enter this will take some time to complete the process so wait for it once done close command prompt window finally restart the system which is very important before you do that like this video god bless